Hey, what is going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at something pretty cool here. This is the Workstation Pro from a company called Plamo Kojo. Plamo Kojo is a small company there out of Japan that makes these kind of like organizing tools and some other different tools for building and things like that. And they seem pretty cool, some of their products. So I wanted to check this out. I've been eyeing this product for a while. This is they're one of two different versions. They have the regular workstation and the workstation pro. What separates the pro version is that it also comes with these attachment here, the LED light and then the magnifying glass, which also has LEDs in it. So otherwise the regular version is obviously cheaper and doesn't have those if you don't need that. But it's just this portable workstation for you to be able to kind of build on the go as it were. So if you're visiting friends, family members, you know, girlfriend, boyfriend's house, or if you're just going out with some friends to a coffee shop or to a Gumpla shop or something, and you want to be able to bring something to kind of keep your building space clean and tidy and organized and that stuff seems like pretty cool. So I wanted to check it out and share this with you guys. So let's go ahead and check it out here. So just taking a look around the box on the back side, you've got a little bit more breakdown about all the gimmicks and everything of this. Well, I guess all the features, I guess I should say, and it's all in Japanese, but at the bottom there, you've got like this uh, metal grate. So as you're cutting all your nubs off and everything, sanding all the dust, all that stuff will all fall down into there. And you've got the tray under Underneath the, that will collect all that and you can just easily empty that out so you're not making a mess and yeah so it's just talking about that and your actual pieces won't fall through there of course you have this little extra attachment piece there for holding onto your nippers that seems convenient the cutting mat there is in green or black on the front and back side so you can have an option of switching that if you have a preferred color I guess and the backing part that folds up is a, just a good backdrop for you to set your manual up against that. So you have that right there in front of you while you're building. And then for the pro version, again, it's just got the magnifying glass with the LED in that and the LED arm. It's got a little indicator there to show you how much that's charged. It's all just charged via USB. So that should be pretty convenient. Let's go ahead and get this opened up and see what it's looking like. So inside of your main box, you've got a secondary box and inside here, there's our pro accessories. So there's your magnifying glass. Get the switch on the top and on the back side, two LED lights there, USB plug in for that. And the same thing here with the lamp. You just got the switch on the top, three lights underneath that and it just plugs in via USB. Underneath is the main product itself. So we've got that as well as our nipper holder charge cable for that which is just a standard usb charge cable some instructions here and these metal rods which we'll use once we get this opened up so i don't really think that we necessarily need that so it's in this very nice uh, frosted kind of matte black looking plastic there on the bottom side you just got the label sticker and you do have little rubber feet here on the corners so it won't uh, be sliding around on your table or anything like that so you got little bits of rubber there just to give you guys a sense of how big this is let me just measure this it is about 30 centimeters uh by let's see about 20 centimeters in size or just for those of you guys living in the u.s that's about almost 12 inches wide and then about eight inches deep so opening it up here we can just go ahead and remove this bit of packaging and you can see there is our cutting mat so it's pretty cool. We got centimeters here, circles over here in case you need to lay some masking tape and cut some circle bits. Got angles on there. So there some nice uh, cutting guides there for if you need to do some masking. And then on the opposite side, there's that. These rods are meant to go up underneath here. I guess you can see we have little slots of some minor assembly required, but that's just to help keep your surface, I guess, nice and strong. So I guess if you're leaning on this or something too much, it's not going to bend it down. So you just pop those into there and there we're all set. And your cutting mat, uh, you can slide that whether you prefer it up or down wherever you're just building here or something like that. You want to keep it up there and keep all your dust falling down here. The tray will slide out. Now, well, the grate itself is metal. The tray and the rest of the body here is all plastic. So it's a little bit tight, sticky to get that out, but that'll just slide out of there. You can dump out all your dust and everything once you're done. Up here at the top corners, you just pop off this little cap there, and that's where you can plug your accessories here. Again, if you've got the pro version of this, that just plugs right into there. And on the side here is where you can plug your arm for hanging on to your nippers. Now, I'm honestly not too well convinced how that's going to work uh, because these nippers and like a lot of nippers have like a rubber handle, but it's like a hard rubber. So let's just see. Uh, doesn't really seem like that's going to be fitting in there pretty well. They kind of fall out really easily. And, you know, if you want to be like cut, 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 and then you don't want to just like put the nippers down, but you want to just slot them into place here. 
They're going to be holding on there mm, kind of well, but it feels like not very solid. I mean, mm, kind of to get it in there just right, maybe. Mm, not that great. But as you can see here, you've got this little area here along both sides where you can just kind of set your tools like that. So you see you're working and you've got your file as well too. You can just set that into there like so. And here I am. Hi, just to give you guys a look at how this is going to look like with your standard HD 144 scale Gundam kit for a size. So you can see it's going to be pretty good. If you just build a lot of HG kits especially, it seems like very appropriately well sized for that. Anything larger maybe going to be a little bit big on this thing. This is not very large, but definitely big enough just for something easy enough to carry along with you. Like I said, if you're going out to go build somewhere, obviously where I'm at here in my office, I have plenty of build space, but I do sometimes build at home. So if I want to go and build something at home, you can set your you know instructions up at the back there like that so that does seem pretty nice and convenient now going around here to the back that's where you can plug this in to charge it you got a little power button there as well and then right on the top here that's where your LED that's where your uh, battery indicator light is going to be when the internal battery is a charge it'll show you how much is charged there so it's not charged at all right now let me go ahead and plug it in charge it for a little while Okay, so I've given it a little bit of time to charge. Let me switch that on and switch that on and that on. So that's working very well, it's very bright. Once again, I'll just bring in the Gundam here just for an example. So you can see that. Uh, and I don't know if when you'd really particularly need this bright LED light. I mean, and I guess that, that works pretty well. As for the magnifying glass, could certainly be helpful if you need to do some like really small detail painting or something like that. If you're working on that, it does work pretty well. The LED is nice and bright. And I mean, it's uh, I didn't really have, I only had this plugged in for like 20 minutes and it's charged well enough to at least, uh, you know, last for a little while. So I don't know, I can't really speak too much on how long the battery will last ultimately, but I gotta say it does seem like it's a pretty cool product. So I'll try this out for a while and then, you know, maybe later on I'll just let you guys know, you know, how it's holding up or something, I guess, if anything else really noteworthy to happens with it. But I'll try it out for a little while and hoping to try out a couple other products from Plumo Kojo as well. And on that note, I've been trying to get in touch with them about getting their products for a distribution for sale at a US Gundam store for us to be able to sell to you guys there in the US more easily. So still working on that, but as soon as uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, that goes through, I'll be able to stock this stuff and their other items uh, that they make at US Gundam store for you guys to check out and be able to buy there more easily. But until then, there's a look at the Workstation Pro. What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comment section down below. Does it look interesting, look cool to you? You guys uh, like this kind of stuff? I think that looks pretty cool. Can you see yourself using something like this, you know, when you're working on the go or something like that? As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much for your support, liking the video, commenting, subscribing, all that's greatly appreciated. Until next time, hope you're all having a great day. I'll see y'all later. Bye, guys.